Why, Hollywood? Why must you do this to us? Why? Hello, YouTube. This is Halo2601, and welcome to Halo Rants, where I give my personal opinion about movies, gaming, TV, music, etc. Good or bad. Now, as the title suggests, I will be talking about the 2015 trailer for Portageist which is a remake of the original 1982 horror movie by Steven Spielberg, if you didn't already know that. If you haven't seen the trailer, it's in the link below. Watch it, then come back. I can wait. Now that you've seen the trailer, it's time to begin the review. It's official. Hollywood, in this day of new technology and movie making, has run out of ideas. I'm getting sick of remakes. They're terrible and they tend to distract people from how great the original was. They pulled the exact same thing with Carrie. Why do they keep making these remakes? They're just the same movie all over again, except crappier. They are good original screenplays being written by people every day, Hollywood. Go seek them out. I guess I'm going to have to accept the fact that Hollywood thinks the only movies that sell are remakes, 3D, and comic book stores. They really don't need to redo the Portuguese series movies because they can t call it something else instead of updating it by adding different ways to try f to fake scare people watching it. Make it a scarier story instead of just using special effects to give a scare. Make something new instead of revisiting something that's been done be lot before. So it's really not horror per se anymore. It could have been much more entertaining if it was creepier than the original in the way it scares people. And what's up with Hollywood's new reception of, with demons for the past decade? It's starting to get annoying. Come up with something new! If this movie is going to have a ton of cheap jump scares every time, my faith in horror movie today is going to be gone. The original is, cre the original is creepy enough. Remaster it in 3D. Re-release it if you and re-release it if you want to make a few more bucks off the franchise. This attempt looks too desperate. If I had I had more of a laugh than a scare with this trailer. Do you really expect us to be scared from a movie that isn't R-rated? First MGM room carry, then Robocop, and now this way to screw up the classics. So, where are the diabolical specters we saw before? Come on, this looks like a, another stereotypical horror movie. Nothing else. The only part that scared me a little bit was the clown. You can do it a lot better, Hollywood. Stop remaking everything. There's no need to touch the 1982 original movie. This looks like derivative bull. Go make something new. This is what I imagine happens in the office when they are trying to release a new movie. Good day, gents. I got a script from a story written by Pot Surprise winning author about something everyone in the world is deeply concerned about that the very moment. However, the one small risk is Stop right there. Let's do something safe. I know, let's reboot Poltergeist. Worst of all, this is directed by famous horror comedy director Sam Raimi. Why do you want to remake a Spielberg classic? How would you feel if someone remade Evil Dead? Oh wait. After the major fail that Evil Dead 2013 was, you would think Hollywood would have learned its lesson by now. But we were wrong. Let's not forget to mention how generic the trailer looks. This is how everyone feels when Hollywood remakes a movie. Reboot Terminator, reboot Bordergast, reboot everything people love. Please stop. Now, we're selfish, greedy bastards, and we don't care what you think. <laughs> Hollywood keeps missing it when it comes to horror movies. They think that fancy special effects sell action, science, fantasy, or even comedy movies, but it does not work with horror. Is that so hard to see? The lesson, the less you show, the scarier. Stick with what you're good at, Mr. Raimi. Horror, comedy. 
This will be just what the trailer showed us. One jump scare after the other, a few lines lifted from the original, and no brilliant Jerry Goldsmith score. It's sad that the last few scary movies that came out, I generally laughed at their trailers. It started with the Annabelle girl turning into a woman when she hits the door, and now this alien-faced girl being pulled up the stairs. Has a horror movie that's mostly CGI ever been scary? Older horror movies were much more effective because the horror was much more tangible. None of this impressive C cold CGI bull. This acting is bad. The acting is bad. The whole movie looks like a campy shot for shot remake. Hollywood has to make money. That's all. And that's why this movie exists. Look at the cast. Many are unknowns and a couple of familiar faces are not A-listers at all. So some dude thought, hey, let's remake something that was popular once and let's pour a bit of money to it and add some crappy special effects and we can make a buck off it. Why? Nostalgia! It's sad, but I'm sure that there are great stories out there, but it's a business. First question is, will it make money? I'll just wait until it comes out on Netflix, because you know that's where most underperforming movies go after the theaters. While imitation is the greatest form of flattery, this remake isn't flattery, but flat you wins. Hollywood once again pulled stupid copycatism. Hollywood just likes to ruin classics and has no creativity. No doubt it has plenty of cheesy jump scares. This looks comical. It's sad. Why would you remake such a good story and use horror? Such a good movie and use so many special effects, causing it to look like Coraline while ripping off MD Ville horror at the same time. The Family Guy version did it better. You do realize that you remade a Spielberg movie, right? You can't retell really a perfectly told story. Hey, do you know the definition of insanity? It is doing the exact same thing over and over again in hope of a different outcome. Or in your case, more profit. Now, this house was built on a cemetery reveal didn't come until the end of the original. I think it's dumb to reveal that so soon. And in a trailer for people who don't know the story. Of course, Steven Spielberg wrote the screenplay for the original, and he's a great storyteller. This looks like a sci-fi channel production. And good luck topping the practical effects and Jerry Goldsmith's score and Steven frickin' Spielberg dur during his artistic heyday. And where's Tanya, huh? Making a poltergeist movie without Tanya is like making a cake without flour or making a white wine spritzer without Sprite. This house is not clean until she says so.